Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Time SP to nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. We used to rock the light. Yeah. You want to bum it? Real shit. Hey. Okay, nah. Hey. Hey. I done checked the bag. I'ma check some more. Ain't no checking me. You better check your whore. You looking like a pawn on the checkerboard. We playing chess. This ain't checkerboard. Fuck you, throw that nigga. Bottom line, I never needed a title to sell my whip. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about, boy? Are you serious, nigga? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get one thing straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it feels good to be right. I'm not gonna hold you. It, does, it definitely feels good to be right. Um. And I was way ahead of you guys. I was way ahead of you guys when it came to who? None other than Shotgun Sugar. I told y'all a couple blogs, well, months ago, when I made the term, when you start rapping like that, it was about Shotgun Sugar, right? Because I seen that he was rapping in a way that he hadn't been rapping before. And now, Shotgun Sugar's flipped. He's you know, flip shit upside down. I always felt like Shotgun Sugar had presence. Shotgun Shook had, you know, he was powerful, but the, the lyrics, like no matter who he battled against, it was like a damn near two, three year run. No matter who he battled, nine times out of ten, he was able to do some shit, but the other person was going to be way more lyrical, was going to outwork him, and was going to go get him out of there. If you see, Shotgun Shook has lost a lot of weight, you know what I'm saying? Like he was huge. He's, you know, slimmed down. He's a slim gym now. You know what I'm saying? He lost a lot of weight. Salute to him and congratulations for that. But that breath control is everything. You know what I'm saying? Like being able to use a lot of words without having, like you can hear in his flow. His flow has gotten so much better. You know what I'm saying? Like way better. That poker scheme at the end of the third round that he was using versus chess, like that was mad. Poker face. Poker face, I'm all in, I'm feeling bold. Nine, suit pair in the pocket, I pop the soul. I call my ace to lock and low. He think I'm bluffing if I raise it, watch him fold. What the fuck, I need to put it in poker titles or something? Masterful, Shotgun Shug is in a different- Rocket, you bluffing, bitch, I will fold your ace. You gambling with your life like you know your fate. I'm all in with four fives on four tilt in a poker face. You know you hurt. And I say that to say this. I know people probably want to see John John People probably want to see Charlie Clips versus, I'm not talking about versus Easy to Block Captain, but I think the biggest threat to shotgun, to Easy to Block Captain's undefeated streak, I know some of y'all may have him losing to Cal, whatever the case may be, it was mad debatable, I had Easy to Block Captain to close to one win, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, I think the biggest threat is Shotgun Shug. So what Easy to Block Captain has going on right now, Shotgun Shug is the biggest threat because Unlike a lot of those other guys, and I'm not taking nothing from them, they're very talented, they do what they do, they all get busy. But, Shotgun Shook has that ability to get to that energy level. See, the thing about Easy the Black Captain, he perform, He has a lot of you know nice pockets of material that uh, then when I gave that work to them, like the fiends started running back, that's how I knew my Formula One. He can pack a lot of material into a, a small area and do high level things. But a shotgun Suge is a veteran, he's experienced, he has a lot of time behind him. And his record on the app was not good at one time. What the nigga was like, three and 14? Or he was on, he was not good on the app. So the app is no clear depiction of where he's at right now. You know, 30 drugs, 30 stumbles, and 30 chests. Bing, bing, bing. All in a row, and I think he might have had another one in there, I don't fucking remember, I just remember the big names. But, uh, uh, I think he's the biggest threat. He is the biggest threat to Easy to Block Captain, and here's why. He can match Easy to Block Captain's energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He packs enough punches, enough, you know what I'm saying? Shotgun Shook now has this flow where he keeps jumping into this pockets of material. I told y'all, when he was battling against Stumbles, you missed your dumb luck. You niggas got me fucked up. See, I'm tripping on, I don't even drink, but I'm dumb drunk. I'm tripping on Stumbles, that's how you know he got me fucked up. Like, come on, bro. And when the crowd starts getting behind that, 
he says, uh, Shotgun Shook says, if they if they call, I'm already writing for Easy and Verb. I want either on November 5th card. This nigga literally just battled three times last month. He's like, I'm in the future, in the Tims with a Drake, and I will wait for you. That nigga said, I will wait for either one of them on November 5th. Uh, if Easy does not take the battle for November 5th, which to me, I'm not gonna lie, I told Easy the same thing. Uh, so I don't mind telling you guys. And in the rest of the year, you got October, November, December. I think you should probably take one more battle. It might not be in November. November is like pretty soon. It's maybe a month away. And mentally, you know what I'm saying? Like mentally, I think all MCs, you know, unless you're like DNA who can freestyle and battle like every day. DNA can battle two niggas a day. Like he's just that good. Because I know a lot of people be like, oh, that nigga be in on DNA. No, no, no. He's just that good of a freestyler, just that good of an MC that he can battle two people in a day. He's done it before. But when it comes to the battlers, it's like your mind is a muscle. You give it a break. You know what I'm saying? You relax. You come back with your thoughts clear. Like even this right here, you know what I mean? Like being able to talk eloquently in front of thousands of people every day for 10, 15 minutes at a time. You don't slip. You don't, you know, mess up your words. And you, you know, that's not easy. But sometimes you need a mental break. Like, yo, I've been doing this <laughs> for so long. That's why I went on vacation a week ago. Sometimes you just need a break to relax, chill, and enjoy the fruits of what you're actually doing. So if he takes a break and doesn't battle him in November, maybe in December, but I definitely do. To me, I feel like Shotgun Sugar is moving himself above the others. Like, so when we think of Charlie Clips, Clips is dope, he does what he do. I know he's real busy with Wildin' Out. I don't know when the tour ends or whatever the case may be, but that could be a possibility. And then with John John, like John John is John John for easy I'm talking about. And that battle can happen, should happen, because it's, it's got a narrative behind it. They got the music, John, the E's won't do it. This nigga won't do it. Cal ain't do it. All these other, you know what I'm saying? So that does have a narrative and a backstory to it. But right now, I think if I was to rank them, uh, Shotgun Shug, uh, Charlie Clips, and then John John, in that order, like those three would be, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think it's a battle that shouldn't happen. I just think right now, John John needs to smoke somebody first, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he gotta get some work out there. But dangerous. Shotgun Sugar is the, 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 he's becoming one of the most, yo, he's becoming so dangerous, I have seen it online myself. Niggas think that someone's writing for him. I promise you, I read it yesterday. I seen it on Twitter. I seen Jim's tweeted. Not that shot, somebody's writing for Shotgun Suge. He tweeted that to say that someone is writing for Shotgun Suge is crazy. And then I seen other people saying like, yo, when Suge start rapping like that, he don't rap that good. Somebody writing for him. So getting better with your pen and working on your craft and taking the advice of people, you know, because Suge listens. Like, I know he watches these. He sees, if he's subscribed to me on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. If he sees his name pop up in the title, he's gonna watch it, you know what I'm saying? And when he watches it, he's gonna take things from a literal perspective. Cause I've told him things in blogs before and I've told him things personally, you know what I mean? Like, yo man, the opportunities is out there. You, you, you got skills, you nice, but you gotta just, you gotta stop playing with these niggas, you know what I'm saying? And for some reason, in 2022, Shotgun Shug ain't been playing with no, nobody. I remember there was a time when Shotgun Shug was battling like, uh, no disrespect to nobody. He would be on like the fucking subsidiary circuit. You'll have him in front of like a fucking who? Uh, who did he battle? I think he battled franchise. He battled none none when none none wasn't on big stage level. Uh, battle rider. He bat they had this nigga battling like everybody who they not putting on volumes or not putting on some madnesses. They had him like that as just a, as just a worker, you know. But I think he's breaking out of that mold. And hopefully he can continue this because on the big stage, they got a lot of energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, take play. What he said, what he said? He said, I'll make it set. This your death date. He, like what? Like he was wilding on that man. What? I'm the best man. I told him that chest slam. You a little nigga. I'll, I'll bear hug you and chest slam him. Like this nigga is on some beast mode shit. And I think his energy versus what a easy to block captain can deliver. Um, I'm not taking the crowd in such a literal sense this weekend because I got so many different varying opinions. Like I spoke to some people who said it was smooth, they got right in. Then I spoke to a female, she was in my comments, I forgot her name, I'm so sorry. But she told me 
that the crowd was restless that she got out there like seven, eight o'clock in the morning. They was online for a bunch of hours. When they get in the building, the first thing they see is a bunch of new people rapping and they wasn't feeling it. So they started letting their opinion be known. And then that trickled on and trickled on and trickled on. But just imagine if you're, um, if you're at an event at seven o'clock in the morning and these just don't start rapping till four o'clock in the evening, you've been standing on your feet for eight, nine hours already. You <laughs> It's going to get a little wreck. It's going to get a little restless. It will. I know a lot of people be fighting, fighting, why you don't be here, why you don't be there. I'm going to start pulling it up. I'm going to start going to these events. We worked a lot of things out. It's good. But that standing on your feet for seven, eight, nine hours was definitely a key factor in it. Um, but, you know, I tell them all the time. I gave people advice the day before for Summer Madness. I said, yo, make sure you get some rest. Make sure you get something to eat. Because I've seen people comment, they ain't have no food in there. You got an expectation. You can't go in somewhere expecting for them to have food. When I be going to a lot of people's houses, like cookouts and baby showers and things like that, if I don't know the cooking there, I'm going to eat before I go. I definitely will eat before I go. And even if they have amazing food, I'll probably eat a little bit, but I won't come there looking for food. So with that being said, uh, the crowd, although it wasn't the greatest, uh, there's ways to get around it because some people like Shotgun Shook had an amazing time in front of that crowd. You know? Now, if, if, if they wrestlers, you got to bring a show. You have to bring a show. You have to make them invest in you. Make them want to see you. Drop some shit. I put the 52 chest, Ray Lewis. Like, nigga, what's up? Big stage bars. Um, but, yeah, that's who I feel like right now is the biggest threat if he battles on that app or on to, to break easy to block Captain Street. I, I don't, I'm not saying it would happen. I'm not putting the card in front of the horse. But a big threat, certainly one. Other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all. I try to get in here and get y'all more content out, uh, you know, because I know people like watching blogs. It helps them get through their days and things like that. Uh, salute to my guy, Showtime SP. He is back in town. I'll be getting with him real soon so he can give me his in-the-building recap of what he felt and what he saw and who did what. And I was just glad. Salute to everybody out there that either text me or DM me or whatever the case may be, letting me know that they saw him, they said what up, got to talk to him and things like that. I'm going to be back out real soon, I promise you. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Yo, I'm bummin'. Real shit. Hey. Hey. Okay, nah. Hey. Hey. I done checked the bag, I'm going to check some more. Ain't no checking me, you better check your whore. You looking like a pawn on the checkerboard. We playing chess, this ain't checkerboard. Hey, fuck you, throw nigga. This shit BB's. Fuck you, baller, nigga.